This is the actor Val Edward Kilmer. You may recognize him as the Iceman in the movie Top Gun and Top Gun Maverick. Director Joel Shoemaker that directed Val in the movie Batman Forever called the actor childish and impossible. Even directors that he worked well with spoke about his temper and refusal to work if his suggestions were ignored. Val's answer to this was, I have a reputation of being difficult, but that's only with stupid people. Val Edward Kilmer was born December the 31st, 1959 in Los Angeles, California, into a prominent family. His father was Eugene Dars Kilmer who was a real estate developer and industrialist. His mother was Gladys Swanett Kilmer. She was involved in real estate. Val was the second of three sons. Mark was one year older and Wesley was two years younger. Val said he lived in between Roy Rogers and Charles Manson family in Chadsworth. We were closer to Roy and Dale than Shorty, Squeaky, and Charlie at the Spahn Ranch, he said. Although he said Shorty ran a dude ranch trail ride and once he helped me up on a horse, but that was before he started murdering people. I was far more interested with seeing Trigger than I was the Manson family. Val attended a Christian science school until the ninth grade. It will affect his life and death decisions years later. In 1968, Val's parents divorced when he was eight years old. His younger brother, Wesley, went to live with their mother in Arizona. Mark and Val stayed with their dad at the ranch house he had purchased from Roy Rogers in 1976. After Roy and Dale lost their daughter, Deborah Lee Rogers, in a church bus accident, Roy said the memories of Debbie were so great he couldn't continue living there. Although a lot of the TV shows was filmed there as the Double R Bar Ranch. The ranch was actually the Diamond Bar Ranch, located at 9839 Andorra Avenue, but the address was later changed to 2283-2 West Trigger Street, Chadsworth. For more information on the life and tragedies of Roy and Dale, go to Google and type in Jerry Skinner, Roy Rogers, and Dale Evans. Two years after Val's parents divorced, his mother Gladys married William Bernard Leach, a businessman and owner of the El Bar Guest Ranch in Wickenburg, Arizona. Val's dad Eugene was married two more times after his divorce from Gladys. In June of 1977, Val's younger brother Wesley returns home to his dad and brothers in Chadsworth, one year after being diagnosed with epilepsy. Although he was taking medications to help control his seizures, he was told to never go near the backyard pool. While being watched by a family housekeeper who only left him for 15 minutes to run to the store, when she returned, she found Wesley with swimming trunks on and laying face down in the spa only three feet deep, located near the pool. Wesley Thomas Kilmer passed away on the 12th of September, 1977, at the age of 16. His death deeply affected the family. Val said it was two or three years after Wesley's death before he began to recuperate. Val attended Chadsworth High School with classmate Kevin Spacey. His girlfriend was Mar Winningham and who is now a noted actress. He then enrolled in Hollywood Professional School where he began showing an interest in dramatic arts. And after finishing, he attended Juilliard in New York City. After graduating from Juilliard, he began performing on stage. He won a part in the off-Broadway production of Slab Boys, alongside with Kevin Bacon and Sean Penn. They also were students at Juilliard. In 1984, he was offered a part in a spoof spy film entitled Top Secret, about a Cold War agent embroiled in an espionage plot 
in East Germany. Nick, I want to explain. What's there to explain? But I just want Look, to say that... Look, I'm not the first guy who fell in love with a girl he met in a restaurant who then turned out to be the daughter of a kidnapped scientist, only to lose her to a childhood lover who she'd last seen on a deserted island and who turned out 15 years later to be the leader of the French underground. I know. It, it all sounds like some bad movie. Kilmer played a rock and roll star, Nick Rivers. As a joke from the cast, Val was told that he had to learn to play a guitar. He spent three months learning to play. But when it was time to film, he was told that he didn't need to play, they could just fake it. The next year, 1985, Val will star as an uptight teenage prodigy entering a top engineering college but feels awkward among the freewheeling students. When his professor aims to turn their laser project into a military weapon, he along with a roommate plot to ruin the plan in the movie Real Genius. In 1986, Val will cement his abilities as an actor in Top Gun with Tom Cruise. As students at a U.S. Naval Elite Fighter Weapons School, Maverick, Tom Cruise, and the Iceman, Val Kilmer, compete to be the best in the class. Two years after Top Gun, Val will star with his future wife in a fantasy film, Willa, where a young farmer is chosen to undertake a perilous journey in order to protect a special baby from an evil queen. Val co-starred with Joanne Whaley and Warwick Davis. Ron Howard, director, said that the movie used more little people for a scene since The Wizard of Oz. Val played swashbuckling knight Mad Margigen, who falls in love with Sorshi, warrior daughter of the queen. The romance on screen continued off screen. They married on the 28th of February, 1988. Joanne is a British-born actress. She was 27 and Val 29 at the time. The next year, Val and Joanne will star together in Kill Me Again, where Joanne plays a woman who robbed a mob and gets to Reno and hires Val, a private investigator, to help fake her death. On 29 October 1991, Val and Joanne had a daughter, Mercedes. She'll later become an actress and producer. She was born in Santa Fe, New Mexico, where Val owned a ranch. Joanne will cut back on her career in order to take care of her daughter. The same year that Mercedes was born, Val starred in The Doors, where he played Doors lead singer Jim Morrison. Critics praised Kilmer for his betrayal of Morrison, even singing Morrison's songs. After filming, the director, Oliver Stone, dismissed any claims of bad behavior by Kilmer. Instead, he praised Val's dedication. Also in 1991, Val's dad, Eugene Kilmer, filed Chapter 11 bankruptcy on a building project where he was building expensive homes when the real estate business suffered a severe downturn. He was never able to financially recover. Two years later, on March the 26th, 1993, Mr. Kilmer passed away from cancer at his home in Chadsworth at the age of 71. His wife, Sanji, continued to live in their house. However, she had to close off several rooms, not able to maintain them. After their dad passed away, Val and his brother Mark had a falling out over his dad's estate. Their riff will last for years. In 1993, Val co-starred with Kurt Russell, Sam Elliott, and Dana Delaney in what some people believe was his best role as Doc Holliday in the movie Tombstone. Val was so determined to make his part of Doc seem real that he asked that the art department fill his deathbed with ice, which he lay on so he could shake more realistically while saying goodbye to his friend White. 
Robert Mitchum was scheduled to play old man Clinton, but fell from his horse and injured his back. Then he was assigned to narrate at the beginning and the end of the film. Willem Devoe was set to play Doc Holliday, but his controversial part in his last movie, The Last Temptation of Christ, caused the film director to fear a backlash from the public, so he was replaced by Val. Kevin Jar, who was fired as director one month into production, stated that he thought Val had a dark side. In an interview in 2020, Val stated that by the end of the 90s, he had alienated the head of every major studio. Not good for an actor. In 1995, Val played in Heat with Robert De Niro and Ashley Judd. Based on a true story about high-end professional thieves that felt the heat when they realized that the L.A. Police Department had found a clue that they had left behind on their last heist. Also in 1995, Val will take Michael Keaton's place as Batman in Batman Forever. Jim Carrey played the Riddler. Carrey and Kilmer became good friends working on this film. Tommy Lee Jones played Two-Face, and Chris O'Donnell was Dick Grayson, Robin. By the time the film was over, Val was ready to move on to other projects and leave Batman to others. He also felt separated from the cast members, he said, due to the restrictions of the Batman costume. That same year on June the 6th, 1995, Joanne and Val will have a second child, a boy. They named John Wallace Kilmer. They called him Jack. Jack will become an actor, starting his career in the movie Palo Alto in 2013 as Teddy. Shortly after Jack's birth, his mother and dad separated. It's reported that Joanne asked him to please come back home and quit carousing around. A few months later, while filming The Island of Dr. Moray, that co-starred David Tholis and Marlon Brando, Val said he heard while watching CNN that Joanne had filed for divorce. It was final in February 1996. She filed on irreconcilable differences. He had the lead role in Dr. Morey. Oh, you'll like it. I like it. It's a little Jimi Hendrix. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Are you a doctor? Just Are you a doctor? Well, I'm more like a vet. But after hearing about the divorce, he cut his part and lost interest in the film. The movie had become a mess. David Thorless said that Marlon Brando had to wear a receiver in his ear so they could feed him his lines. He would sometimes pick up the police band, and in the middle of a sentence, Brando would say, There's a robbery at Woolworths. <laughs> Kilmer was even accused of putting a lit cigarette out on one of the crewmen's face. Val said it was an accident. It's been reported after Val's divorce from Joanne, he agreed to pay $27,500 per month in child support. The next year, in 1995, Val will star with Elizabeth Shue in The Saint, where Val's character, The Saint, is hard to steal a formula for cold fusion. The Saint seduces Elizabeth Shue's character, a scientist, to help him. In 2001, Val met Daryl Hannah on the set of Hard Cash, where Val played a crooked FBI agent chasing and blackmailing a gang of robbers. Although he had dated actresses such as Cindy Crawford, Cher, and Angelina Jolie, he said he fell in love with Daryl Hannah, and his breakup from her was far the most painful, and that he would always love her. In 2007, Val's ex-wife, Joanne Whaley, sued him for back child support and filed a lead on his New Mexico ranch near Santa Fe. To top it all off, the IRS also placed a lien on his property. He was no longer getting major roles with big money, so he placed his ranch for sale asking $33 million. 
Unfortunately, in 2008 was the beginning of the worldwide recession. Val lost one half the value of his ranch. It'll be three years until 2011 before he sold the ranch for $18 million. He then cleared both his child support and IRS debts. Also in 2011, Val played Mark Twain in a humorous look at the mind of the author. The film wasn't released until 2014 with a limited run. Val became so infatuated with the author Mark Twain, he wrote, produced, and starred in a one-minute touring show called Citizen Twain. While on tour in Nashville, he felt a lump in his throat and was having a hard time swallowing. He was diagnosed with throat cancer. Val refused medical attention. His religion, Christian science, was behind his decision. As he began to get worse and losing weight, his brother Mark, who was a psychologist, became concerned and tried to convince him to take treatments. His friend and old girlfriend from back in the 80s, Cher, asked him to come and stay at her guest house in Malibu where she could help him. At this time, Val was still denying to the public that he had cancer. If you're an actor and the directors and studios think you're sick, they won't offer you parts. Val said that Cher was the only one from his past romances that had a good heart towards him. She was a true friend. He said as his health was failing, she stood by his side. One night while staying at Cher's, Val woke up vomiting blood all over the place. He said it looked like the horse head in The Godfather. He was taken to the hospital. They immediately started chemotherapy, radiation treatments, along with tracheotomy surgery that left his vocal cords permanently damaged. He said, I couldn't speak without plugging the hole in my throat. He takes his meals through a feeding tube. Now, most people, especially stars or well-known personalities, would withdraw from the public, but not Val. If anything, he's involved in more projects than ever. In 2020, he published his own memoirs entitled, I'm Your Huckleberry, the famous line that he spoke to Johnny Ringo in the movie Tombstone. The next year, in 2021, he produced his own documentary about his life entitled, Val. He used personal footage that he had filmed himself starting as a youngster. His daughter, Mercedes, was co-producer of the documentary and his son Jack narrated the film for his dad. One year later, in 2022, Val Kilmer appeared in Top Gun Maverick with Tom Cruise. Even with his handicap, he appeared as the Iceman, the part that he had played 36 years earlier in the first Top Gun. He was able to speak through Hollywood magic. Several people believe that Top Gun Maverick wouldn't have been the successful movie it was without the appearance of Val Kilmer. That's why Tom Cruise said, I'm not doing this movie without Val. At the present time, the actor is sharing a duplex with his daughter Mercedes in Los Angeles, still on his way to recovery.